What's up, YouTube? Dead Raw here, bringing you another video today. We are going over the ban list. Um, just know this is not a live reaction or anything like that, because I did look at this while I was at work. Um, I actually initially wanted to get my live reaction, but uh, uh, I couldn't help myself and look at it from work. So anyway, um, as you guys see, it's back from April 11th, 2016. So this will be our Nationals ban list, and honestly, before I even go over anything, I'm almost a little bit disappointed in the list be honest but um <clears throat> we'll talk about that after and here you guys see obviously uh damage juggle and push flyer being banned we kind of knew this from the adjusted list as long uh, along with uh, Ptolemyus and chicken game chicken game is a big one um i'm very happy i thought this card was very degenerate i didn't like it at all um i thought this card was just a bad design poorly designed card um i'm, I'm very happy this card is out of it um Really, really, I think that's good, and it, it kind of helps because uh, it stops with those, those like magic deck OTKs, uh, whatever. And then we got actually one other card got banned here, um, which was Wavering Eyes. Wavering Eyes being banned, I think that's really good for uh, Pendulum decks. <clears throat> one of the big turnoffs for me playing a Pendulum deck myself was the fact that, um, honestly, was the fact that like you get Wavering Eyes, you pretty much lose if they hit four. Um, it, it could be whoever, as you guys notice, Harpies, Feather Duster, and Heavy Storm still on this, so I was definitely wrong about that. I really wish one of these would come back because they are a huge uh, force. They could make, make a huge force. Trap cards are really, you know, really good. Also, okay, so now we go to Limited. We got Luster Pendulum, uh, Monkey Board, and Skull Cobra Joker. Those were all kind of known. And this one was kind of unfortunate. Wisdom Eye Magician. Magician, I don't think this was a necessary hit but i mean it makes sense honestly but I, I don't think it was a necessary hit um and then uh right here we got we got norden norden is limited i mean okay uh this hurts mermills slightly uh because they would play a three instant fusion have three norden um or two norden at least uh this hurts hurts mermills slightly um and i i don't know i it makes sense but i mean one norden a lot of decks just run one norden anyway so I kind of, I don't know, it's weird. And then we got Thousand Eyes Restrict, uh, was forbidden, now limited. Um, I don't know, I, I don't think it's really a big deal. Who knows, maybe I'll throw it in a deck like I play Instant Fusion in, maybe, just to have if I have extra like, room. But besides that, probably not. And uh, Ignister Prom uh, Prometheus, the uh, Blasting of Draco Slayer, now limited. Another limited Synchro Monster. Um... And I just kind of realized we have no limited exceed monsters, just banned ones. We have more. We have so many banned exceeds, but no, only uh, no, none of them are limited. So anyway, now we're gonna go uh, Draco face off. Now limited. This actually hurts Draco pals quite a bit. Um, yep. <laughs> and then we're gonna go down, and we'll see reasoning here. Reasoning is now at one. Um, I guess this slightly hurts Cosmo players. I don't think it's really, like, a big deal. I personally didn't even play this card sometimes. Like, there's so many builds I didn't play Reasoning in. It's just honestly, a, like, it's a, it's a pretty decent card that helps. But it's not, like, 100% necessary. Um, now, one thing I'm actually... This one's kind of, you know, Upstart Goblin. 2-1. Which is, like, huge. I mean, they're, they're literally banning Patrick Coben. No, but, uh... Just really funny. I, I think Upstart Goblin the one is great. Uh, honestly, like the only slight bit of saltiness I get from this is like the fact that now when people upstart me when and I'm playing Cosmo, like I don't get free life points. Like I'm not like I'm not gonna get upstarted as much because I'm not gonna get free life points. Like I, I honestly when people upstarted in like against me, I was like okay, free life points for me. I've spent all my life points. Like thank you. Um, so, I don't know. I, that's the only bit of salt. I hated playing this card. You will not see me run three upstart in a deck. I hate playing three upstart goblin. I hate I hate that card. I don't know why. So, anyway, uh, this doesn't bother me at all. I, I was kind of really joking about, but, like I said, I, I, now people won't be able to give me free life points, which kind of sucks. Uh, now we're going to go to the semi-limits here. Uh, we got Debris Dragon. I don't know how relevant that really is. Um... And then we got Allure of Darkness. This is kind of actually relevant, I think. Uh, I mean, Monarchs can play this too. 
Like, they can now run this card. And Cosmo can actually run this card if we decide to run a little bit more dark. Uh, we got, I think, I think a lot of decks are only playing one Wicked Witch. So in total, like, they're only playing, like, four dark monsters, uh, maybe five. Um, but I think if you throw in, like, a, a couple, like, one more Wicked Witch, maybe Dogfighter, you know, like, you can honestly play three alert, uh, two alert, which is really, a really, really powerful card in the deck. Um, and then, uh, one more semi-limit was Emergency Teleport. Honestly, I thought this card was going to be getting limited. Um, I thought even with it being limited, Cosmos were going to be good still, uh, just not, like, the best. Um, this, this really, really doesn't hurt too bad, honestly. It's, it's, it's kind of a whatever. Um to me so yeah and then we're gonna go into the last of it which for some reason my screen cannot capture it hold on guys i'll fix that in just a minute come on okay you want to be like that windows you want to fight okay windows is gonna fight me hold on guys brp all right there we go so <laughs> the struggle uh here's the last little bit of it uh, we got uh, no longer on the list, Dark Magician of Chaos went from banned to unlimited. Relevancy, none. Trigodia, <laughs> Trigodia, uh, now unlimited. I don't think really relevance either. I think this card's really good, but I don't I don't think it's really relevant right now. Advanced Visual Art, once again, I don't think it's really relevant. Went from semi limited and Crush Card Virus. Um, went from limited to three. Makes sense. Honestly, this card is not good. Like... The errata just sucks. That, that's it. But, like, overall in the ban list, like, what I really think um, this ban list is going to be, like, honestly, I can't see another deck other than Monarchs winning Nats. Um, I don't see Cosmo winning Nats. I just, I feel like Cosmo have too bad of a matchup. And Burning Abyss just has, like, a pretty bad matchup against Monarchs uh, if they have Domain. Like, I think that's just, that's just is what it is. So I, I definitely see Monarchs being the best deck of the format. Um, I think Draco Palace, I don't know. Who knows? We'll see some sort of build like that. I think Draco Faceoff kind of hurts the Draco, like the Draco variant uh, a lot. But we'll, we'll see. I, I'm not really 100% sure. Um, but like, I think this, the, you, the three strong decks would be BA, Cosmo, and Monarch. And I mean, if I had to pick one, it's Monarchs because Monarchs have literally a good matchup against both of those decks. Uh, Monarchs throwing forth all the ships away, like, it doesn't matter. Um, and, like, Monarchs throwing forth is really good. Uh, Domain stops BA, like, just right out. I mean, BA can't even play at that point, um, unless they have Torn Twister or something like that. Um, I, I don't know. So, I, I definitely think that's going to be the best deck. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll see something else top. I'm not really 100% sure. Honestly, Super Quantums, like, that deck could do something. Who knows? Um, Super Quantums, I feel like I'm missing a deck, but, like, I, I, I don't know, I think these are, like, really the decks, I think, like, Mermails kind of, like, <sighs> Mermails have that, like, first turn potential to, like, Monglazia still really easily, but I feel like with Norden being hit to one, it honestly hurts that deck's chances of, like, being, being able to grind, especially in decks like BA and Cosmo in the format that can, like, they just grind anyway, so I think that, that kind of really hurts its ability to be able to grind it out and, uh, do really well. Uh, it's a very explosive deck, but I don't think it's a very, like, uh, a grindy deck. And I think you have to, to be explosive. You can't really, you can't be really dealing with floaters and everything's floating. So, uh, that's just my opinion on that. Um, I'm not really sure what else is really going to be, like, the best decks. I think those are the best. Um, those are the, definitely the top three for Nats. Uh, if I'm missing something, let me know in the comment below. Um... I don't know, we, we could see even Dino Mist, like, who, who knows? We'll see where things go. Oh, Phantom Knight. Phantom Knight, that deck's going to be, like, a lot better now, too. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.